We're under caution at Watkins Glen. A terrible crash for Denny Hamlin. That is in turn one at the end of the front straightaway. This looks a lot like a brake failure. Saw no skid marks going down in there. This is a tire barrier. You can see there's a guardrail there. You see Denny inside the car. And the safety workers there attending to him. Very high speed getting into turn one. We're just counting on that brake pedal to be there. It's yes. not. Yeah. And there's just nothing you can do. There's no way you can't turn the car. You can't turn it off. You can't do anything that's really going to slow the car down enough at that point in time. Kind of similar to what Brad Keselowski's car looked like from Road Atlanta when he had that accident. Yeah. Uh, and Denny climbing from the car. Man. A testament to the safety of these vehicles and the... the He's out. This young man works hard in the gym on his physical conditioning, and I think that has a lot to do with it, too. Two words here. Watch this. Yeah, it looks like it's... It's got We've some got brakes. The front brakes are the left front's locked up. That's almost like the throttle hung. Gosh, man, that could have been. It could have been the throttle hung pushing the front tire. Man, look at how much it moved that guardrail, even through yeah, the tire barrier. You can see the smoke from the front tires, like he's trying to get this car stopped, and maybe the throttle is hung partially. Man. Yeah, those rear tires are still going hard. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Terrible crash there for Denny Hamlin. Fortunately, he climbed from the car and did walk away. And uh, naturally, it brings up the images of Jimmy Johnson's terrible crash there in that nationwide series race several years back when he lost his brakes over the, the top of the gravel uh, trap. Man, you can see the track is configured different because it had gravel then, had a styrofoam wall. Man, that is just a hard, hard lick. 